This intercession is taking place in the ruins of St Ninian's Priory in Whitton in southwest Scotland. It's a bit of a mystery, this, that um, it's uh, for St Ninian, who was a Celtic saint. Nothing to do with the Roman Catholics. And I'm going to read from Psalm 4 and the third verse. But know that the Lord have set apart him that is godly for himself. The Lord will hear when I call upon him. And from Ephesians chapter 1 and the seventh verse. In whom we have redemption through his blood the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace. Yes, this place which was a priory, but it was very much when the Scottish church was reformed. It had been, yes, a monastery. And I believe that the um, last Catholic priest in, in here, in Whithorn, was actually imprisoned because he had said the Mass. So great was the reform which took place in Scotland. Complete reform. And it was that altars were removed, barriers were removed. And it is looking now that current barriers will be removed that the Lord Jesus Christ will have the preeminence and God will be worshipped in spirit and in truth. Heavenly Father, in this place which over the years has been a place where the false religion came in, and then the pure gospel under the Reformation in Scotland, where your word was preached in power, preached in authority, and preached according to what the word of God said, rather than the traditions of men. And the call is now that thy word will once more Take pre the place where it should be, that place at the very center of proclaiming the good news of God. That, as Ephesians says, in whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace. It is thy grace that we are saved through faith, saved by grace, saved through the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, God the Son. And may this message, that never changing message it should be, though there have been those, and particularly the Roman Catholic Church, through their traditions and through their changing scriptures, continuously changing scriptures with their committees, their committee their Vat in the Vatican, along with the Bible societies, change the word of God and still changing the word of God. Yet what the, are the warnings that's, that the Bible, the scriptures, the word of God should not be added to? Neither shall the word of God be taken away, neither shall the word of God be changed. And I call upon thee for a complete restoration of the pure word of God according to the Alexandrian, not to the Alexandrian line, but to the Antioch line. Because how can people be saved unless they hear the pure, true word of God. And I thank thee, O God, as I cry to thee, 
and call upon thee in confidence that you shall work a work that will be marvelous in mine eyes, and marvelous to those Bible-believing Christians who believe in thee, believe in thy word, and live according to the scriptures, and that others will be brought to thyself to live lives which have you living there in and through them by the Holy Ghost, the life like the Lord Jesus Christ, live to the glory of the Father, that you shall be glorified, Father, because this is in the name which is above all other names, that of your Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, who is given the preeminence. Amen. Yes, you have lights up there.